Hello everyone, it's Varun here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to control uh, the dashboard section. The first section, what we have uh, is calling the dashboard, which contains the complete summary of all the Landash specific details. Um, and you can enable and disable these components from the backend option. So we have a general setting where, which uh, allows you to manage all these options from there. So if you want to disable some specific features, you can disable from there. So suppose that uh, we have a summary of the Dundas statistics, you can disable it. Uh, course completion chart that can also be disabled from here. Top courses that can also be disabled. Student details. You also have a given functionality to which role it is going to be displayed or uh, if you want to hide it for uh, all the time, you can also dis uh, hide it for the featured course. These are the tag specific courses. If you want to hide it, that can also be disabled. So we have given uh, a backend option for everything what you are displaying on the front end. Those things can be disabled easily from the backend. The second thing is the menu is specific. So all the menu item what we are displaying for different different role. If you do not want to display any item, you can hide it from the back end and we have a given a control for them for the dashboard menu section. So we have created uh, as a role specific. So first one is the administrator, second one is the group leader, next instructor and anyone who has enrolled to a course. A student is not a role, anyone who is that can be customer, subscriber, anyone except first three. With then they will belong to the student. So as an administrator, you have uh, these options. You can disable and enable any control option for them. Suppose that you want to display the your own course activity, all the announcement, what you have got in those courses to which you have enrolled, you can enable them. By default, course management option are disabled, enabled for the administrator. Report, all the report features are enabled for the administrator. For the monetization point of view, if you also want to enable all those features for the administrator, these are the menu control only, not the functionality enable disable. So these things can be enabled and disabled for a role one. So suppose that if you do not want to uh, display certain menu items for the group leader, you can hide them. In the similar way, any functionality or any menu item you do not need for your instructor, you can easily hide them. And in that way, you are getting a more better control without any code changes or any custom coding. You can hide any section which is not required or which is a little bit over for your instructor. You can hide them. For functionality point of view, like uh, we have a tile functionality on the first section. So the color co code, if you do not want to uh, display the enrolled courses or the active courses or the completed courses you can disable from here enable and disable from here and you can also set a color uh, for them if you want to a uniform color you can go with a uniform color choice options like this you just have to make sure all the color what you have selected are the same for every tiles options so in that way uh, you can have a common interface for everything and if you do not want to display any ind individual items Every level is already explained what it is displaying, which count it is displaying. You can take a look of the description area and you can enable and disable it. For the chart, what we are displaying in the bottom of the on the bottom of the pages, like the chart, you can also control the color combination of them. So you have uh, which color you want to use for the not studied courses or the course progress or the course completed. You can make the, these changes uh, from here. So in that way, all the color scheme, all the menu control, you can have a branding specific uh, control from the back end. So suppose that you do not want uh, to display the hover, change the hover color for these menu items and uh, what links color, what text color you are planning to utilize. So we have given a complete uh, option for them. So you can choose your primary color, hover color, text color, background color and the border color for this dashboard page. So it can be matching uh, with your existing theme or any theme because it is a plugin. So you can use with any theme, whatever you like. So it is going to be compatible with your one. And for the color scheme point of view, you are getting a color scheme option in the design section uh, or the top tile options inside the tile options. 
and uh, for the menu control, if you want to hide any menu items from here, so you are getting a menu control in the dashboard menu section. Okay, so these are the branding specific options what we have provided to hide and show specific items along with that one, hide certain menu items plus do a color scheme or the branding for this complete panel. Let me know if you have any questions related to that one, we can help on those things. Thank you.